वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स क्लास सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस सब्जेक्ट टीचर जोशी एस के लेसन नंबर थ्री न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स पार्ट वन ड्यूरिंग अ पीरियड ऑफ डे वी ईट मेनी फूड आइटम्स फ्रॉम ब्रेकफस्ट टू डिनर आवर बॉडी गेट्स न्यूट्रिशन फ्रॉम ऑल दिस फूड स्टॉक Now let's learn what is mean by nutrition Nutrition can be defined as the process of taking in and using food which takes place in living organisms is called nutrition We take different food atoms food stuffs or nutrients in our body through mouth then they are digested and assimilated in our body for obtaining energy our health and growth of our body we take several types of nutrients through food they are classified into two main types first type is macronutrients nutrients which are required in large quantity to our body are called macronutrients examples of macronutrients are carbohydrates proteins and fats and second type of nutrients is micronutrients nutrients which are required in small portion or small quantity to our body are called micronutrients minerals and vitamins are micronutrients now let's discuss why our body needs nutrition that is need for nutrition first point nutrients supply our body energy required for doing work we need energy for doing each and every work like walking talking laughing pushing pulling etc all this energy we get from food that we eat nutrients are important for growth and development of our body from birth to death nutrients play a very important role in development of our body third point is sometimes cells in our body gets damaged due to illness or any other reasons nutrients helps us to replace these cells and repairs tissues of our body nutrients are very important to increase our resistance power to fight with diseases and improve our health now let's discuss types of nutrition first type of nutrition is autotrophic nutrition some organisms can produce their own food and thus nourish themselves this is called autotrophic nutrition mainly green plants perform process of photosynthesis to prepare their own food now let us learn what is mean by photosynthesis plants make their own food in their leaves using water and nutrients from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air this process is called photosynthesis we see many green plants in our surrounding which makes their own food by a process called photosynthesis now let's discuss the process of photosynthesis in detail first important factor in photosynthesis is chlorophyll which gives green color to the leaves and also absorb sunlight for the process of photosynthesis second roots roots absorb water minerals and salt from the soil for the process of photosynthesis third important factor required for this process 
is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide from air is absorbed by leaves with the help of microscopic openings called stomata now let's discuss actual chemical reaction of photosynthesis six molecules of carbon dioxide reacts with six molecules of water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll which gives out one molecule of glucose C6H12O6 and six molecules of oxygen are released in this process plants convert light energy into chemical energy and store it in the form of food in this process in some plants like cactus photosynthesis is performed by stem as stem contains chlorophyll next important point is transport system in plants body as blood vessels perform function of transport in human body xylem and phloem are two main transport systems in body of plants xylem transports minerals salts and water to all aerial parts of plant while while phloem transports food to all other parts of the plants from leaves of the plant plants do not have a separate digestive and excretory system another important point in this lesson is nitrogen fixation plants produce carbohydrates by the process of photosynthesis which we have already learned carbohydrates are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen but to synthesize proteins plants required nitrogen then the question arises how do plants obtain nitrogen air contains gaseous nitrogen but plants cannot utilize this nitrogen plants can utilize nitrogen only in compound forms nitrogen conversion into compound form occurs in two different ways first one is biological nitrogen fixation and second one is atmospheric nitrogen fixation if conversion of nitrogen into compound form is performed by biological factors then it is called biological nitrogen fixation biological nitrogen fixation takes place in two different ways with the help of two microbes rhizobium and azytobacter root nodules of leguminous plants contain the rhizobium microorganism these microbes absorb gaseous nitrogen from air and convert it into nitrate then the nitrate is used by plants for synthesis of proteins second type of bacteria which are useful for nitrogen fixation are azytobacter microorganisms like azytobacter are present in the soil they also convert gaseous nitrogen into nitrates let's discuss another method of nitrogen fixation that is atmospheric nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation is done by certain atmospheric situation then it is called as atmospheric nitrogen fixation during lightning in the sky in rainy season nitrogen and oxygen in air reacts with each other and form no means nitric oxide this nitric oxide again gets oxidized that is reacts with oxygen and form NO2 means nitrogen dioxide 
nitrogen dioxide then dissolves in rain water means H2O and gives out nitric acid which gets added to the soil with the rain water then plants use nitrogen for protein synthesis this is the process of atmospheric nitrogen fixation